How much is that dog in the window? <laughs> the one with the waggly tail. How much is that dog in the window? <laughs> I do hope that dog is for sale. I must take a trip to California and leave my poor sweetheart. Three and a half years ago, um, my mother, my sister, and and I went to Pennsylvania to a uh, Mennonite farm where they raised dogs, and we found Ruby. She was one of two dachshunds that were available for sale, and they were both very much, the puppies were very much alike, but Ruby came to me first, and so she was the one that I chose for my puppy. We went away on vacation in February and had some uh, very capable puppy dog sitters for um, taking care of Ruby and they called me while we were away on vacation in the snow and the rain and the horrible sleet and so on and told me that Ruby was failing, that her back was bothering her and she was crying all the time. I was thrilled to hear that acupuncture works, um, that it worked for her her dog and hopefully that it would work for mine because as I said before the um, alternative to acupuncture treatment or traditional just uh, drugs you know anti-inflammatories the only other treatment is major 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 surgery um, with the acupuncture needles so in a dog ruby size I use these little itty bitty needles they do bend around so if she sits on them it's not a problem um, these needles, when I put them in the dog, they all go at certain points, and the points have been mapped out for thousands and thousands of years in Chinese medicine. Um, all of those points are laid out on meridians, and the, the meridians correspond to different body systems or different, um, different areas of the body, and they all have certain actions. There are a lot of conditions that respond very well to acupuncture. Most of my patients come to me because of either neurologic problems like Ruby or musculoskeletal problems like arthritis. I've done acupuncture for intestinal issues. You know, there's, there are a lot of different things that acupuncture can really benefit. Good job. Yes, you're a very good girl. So this electrostimulation unit is a lot like a TENS unit in the human world. It puts a very um, low level electrical stimulation through the needles into the body and it causes a tensing and a relaxation of the muscles and stimulates, really stimulates the nerves. I love this on myself. It's a wonderful, wonderful thing. It's very relaxing. Okay. My, because I know that dachshunds have very, this condition very, very commonly, my sister, who lives an hour away from me, um, also has a dachshund who had a similar problem with her back a couple of years ago. And my sister treated her dachshund with alternative acupuncture very, very successfully. So since that dachshund had such success, I knew to ask for acupuncture here in the Albany area. Well, I always thought I wanted a companion for Romeo, who was an only dog for quite some time. And I grew up with dachshunds, so my sister went to buy herself a dachshund and came home with two. So we got Lydia around Christmas time five years ago as a gift. Really, I had not heard about acupuncture for animals. Um, after we took her to this new vet, her condition really declined rapidly after that, and she couldn't walk. She was paralyzed. And when I brought her in for the follow-up checkup a couple days later, that is when the vet, Dr. Rothstein, um, suggested that he had had great success with acupuncture in conditions like hers. Um, so that was the first time I had heard about it.
I can't imagine a household without pets. It's just part of our experience and it's just hard to imagine not having somebody to love more in our household. People are much more interested in holistic options for themselves as well as for their animals. There are still certainly people who look at me like I have three heads when I mention acupuncture or herbal therapies too and you know it's probably not right for them or for their animals. How much is that doggy in the window? I do hope that dog is for sale. I read in the papers there are robbers with flashlights that shine in the dark. If he has a doggy to protect him, he'll scare them away with one bar.